Welcome to Bookmarked. My name is Lee. This is Good Morning Bangalore on 94.3 Radio 1. Right now, life sometimes can take an, you know, a crazy journey, right? And it pushes us through the edge of our resilience. And I think that one person who can definitely talk about that is the, my guest this morning, Akshay Gupta. Hi. Welcome to the show. How are you doing this morning? Hi Lee. I'm fine. Thank you so much for inviting me here. It's a pleasure to be here. The author of the uh, Hidden Hindu trilogy, the third book has come out in April and yes. it's doing absolutely wonders. The first two books were best sellers, the third one of course is a best seller and you so many more plans for the uh, trilogy itself. Uh talk to me about what inspired you to write this story and where the idea came from. Okay. uh there are two things that i can tell you uh one is that you know uh, all our gen z's mm. they know everything about marvel and dc me being a gen z i can say yes i do yes, yeah you know i will ask you seven superheroes of marvel you you will give me 10 yeah yeah of course right yeah. same goes with dc mm. but suddenly if i will ask you tell me the name of seven immortals of hindu ancient scriptures you might not be able to tell me probably not no right so you may give give me two or three names but m- most probably not all the seven mm i realize that you know we collectively and individually are searching and exploring the whole world mm-hmm. even outside the planet but we have still not reached the core of earth right we are making uh, uh, all these cabbages and chicken and eggs synthetic but edible mm mm-hmm. yet we don't know how to make honey <laughs> we are still stealing it from the bee yeah so it is good to know the whole world but you will only understand everything better when you will know yourself this is our lineage this is our culture this is in air mm. yet we know very limited of it so that inspired me to start writing something that could bring all the seven immortals in one story that to not in those times but in your time in today's time so the story is all set in contemporary for all of us mm that makes it uh, comparatively uh, different and unique from all the other uh, books of the same genre mm mm-hmm. that usually most of these authors are trying to take all of you back to those times i am trying to bring all these characters in today in today right right you said immortals but you wrote this book when you were sort of mortal you could say you feeling the most mortal of yourself right yes uh talk to me about that experience if you want to get into that and just say Why not not right now Why not? Why not? Okay, yeah. Why not? <laughs> uh you wrote this while you were in hospital, you know, and yes. you tried to take your own life and I'm so glad you didn't yes. because this came out of it. Yeah. You know, um what prompted you to sit in the bed and be like I want to tell a story today? Okay, honestly speaking, uh the why I wrote it for Gen Z's was the second reason. Mm. The first reason was as you mentioned, I had the worst of my life's time in 2014-15. while I was fighting a divorce uh, I, my son was snatched away from me mm-hmm. so as a parent or as as just a normal human being you kind of divide slots for everybody in your life right you know your parents your friends your girlfriend or your boyfriend whatever same goes with the kids also you mm. you you define a time that you wish to or you regularly spend with your kid mm. that i had that time but i did not had my kid to spend that time with So I had a lot of drawing copies that I brought for him, plain drawing copies that I failed to give it to him. Mm. And that was really hurting me that you know there was it was such a small thing that he asked and I couldn't give him because the day I brought it all he was gone. So that was that was hurting me very badly. I thought why not to spend that time still with my son irrespective mm. he is with me or not. So that one day when he returns back I can tell him that see this is how I was spending time with you while you were not with me this is how i was missing you and while missing you and spending time with you i wrote you a story i thought i'll bring him in 6 7 8 months mm. convince them both and but i was wrong i kept writing because he did not return to me for 6 years it took me 6 years to finish this trilogy by the time it finished it ended it was something else it became something else from there started my journey i came to mumbai mm. and so i completed the story while i was in mumbai right. but i started writing it while i was in indore i am from indore madhya pradesh and uh, then came penguin and mahin singh dhoni's production house run by mrs sakshi dhoni mm. his wife called dhoni entertainment who have showed some confidence in me they showed believe we were like minded people while discussing the story 
So now we are working on making it a three-part massive film series, and uh, Penguin has picked it because of which now I am one of the highest-selling books of this country. We have sold around a two lakh copies in less than one and a half years, which is a big milestone for any publisher and any yeah. author. Yeah, congratulations! That's amazing. Yeah. What about your son? How does he think about the books? How does he like it? I am still waiting for him to come. I have not seen him since last eight and a half years. Um, I am a patient in both the ways, physically and uh, mentally. <laughs> so I'm a very, I'm, I say it proudly that I'm a very patient man. I'm, I've been waiting from since last uh, eight and a half years. Mm-hmm. I can wait more. Well, I'm the, pretty sure he's read the books. I, I have a feeling he's read the books and I he loves know. it. Uh, the irony of the whole story is that I can narrate this, st- this story to. to the world uh-huh. but the not one it. that i wrote it for at the initials uh, i i don't know whether i'll be able to narrate it to him or not well optimistically i would say yes i am optimistic too uh the title uh the hidden hindu yeah. right now living in india no hindu is actually quite hidden it's a it's a kind of a you know uh word play over there yeah. how the idea come up with the entire name the hidden hindu well uh you know if I I strongly believe that if I've been taught like that that mm-hmm. uh, there are seven immortals okay in the in in the Hindu ancient scriptures okay. now if there are seven and if they are immortals they ought to be somewhere in the world right now right right but you and I we don't get to see them just imagine that you're sitting in a in a metro train or in a bus or in a flight anywhere uh and this there's a very very old man sitting looking at a child like an infant child mm. smiling at him you're the third person looking at both of them and the infant responses smiling back back yeah now you see that you know a man in his last stage of life is smiling at a boy a kid in the first stage of its life right and then comes another stoppage and this man gets down you never asked who he was mm. and you will never know maybe he was parshuram who is not going to die right maybe there will be a day when this infant becomes as old as parshuram and they still sit in front of each other smiling at each other mm-hmm. and you would never know that so i believe that all these seven immortals are hidden among us they are not uh, you know they are not roaming in the same way that we have always imagined and shown them mm. maybe not with a janeu and a dhoti and a, they are not coming in a chariot maybe anymore maybe they wear like a star wars shirt and sit and talk to you why not yeah. at least a kurta kris kurta <laughs> at least a kurta <laughs> yeah yeah uh, and you will never know that, right. you know so they they have however managed to camouflage them among us correct correct if they are alive right now comes why the hidden hindu is because i have worked around a fictional character called om shastri in my story mm-hmm. who is caught in 2020 there are seven experts sitting to interrogate him mm-hmm. and he, when he starts speaking he can't lie because he's been uh, given the narco analysis drug and okay. he's parallelly been hypnotized also okay so he has no margins to lie now when he starts speaking he says that my name is om shastri i am around 40 years old and i don't age i don't age i don't die and i am on the face of the earth since the birth of the earth i have survived all the four yugas mm. now for the people who don't know what yugas are you will get to understand how yugas are divided there there are certain book. eras right uh, periods yeah. we go through satyuga treta yug dwapar yug and kalyug right now we're in the kalyug we're in the kalyug yes right uh, usually people think that after satyuga comes uh, dwapar mm-hmm. but that's wrong okay after satyuga comes treta because there were three avatars of vishnu in the second yuga which is why it is called treta yuga okay then comes dwapar because there were two avatars okay in okay. the third yuga and now we are in kalyug as you said right so he says that i have survived all the four yugas without dying i have been a part of both ramayana and mahabharat i have met both ram and krishna in person mm. and i am the eighth immortal who was hidden in the pages of past till now revealed himself in search of the remaining seven immortals that you and i know a little bit of Mm. Hanuman, Parshuram, Ashwatthama, Vedvyas, Kripacharya, uh, Raja Bali, and Vibhishan, the brother of Ravan. Mm. These are the seven immortals mentioned in Hindu scriptures, and he is saying that I am none of them. Okay, I am the eighth one who is in search of all of them. Interesting. And everything is happening in today's time. Lovely, lovely. That's such a intriguing premise that you've written itself. It's amazing. Um, my last question. Uh. what message would you like to convey to the readers and those who have supported you throughout the entire journey so far 
Thank you is an understatement. First of all, you have shown me so much of love. I was a no one, and I will always be a no one without you guys. I try to be in touch with all of you on Instagram. I try my best to to respond to everybody. Uh, thank you once again, Akshat, for coming on the studio and talking to me this morning. Pleasure. It's been a pleasure. Uh, really, it's you've been an inspiration for a lot of people, I'm sure, right? And um, I want to continue to show my gratitude for you and the entire work that you do. You know, uh, coming back from the depths of you know the lowest of the lowest it's not easy and uh, i'm pretty sure a lot of people can relate to that and thank you for being the inspiration that you are can i add one more thing to it yeah uh you know this is especially for those people who think that they cannot read right okay this i i challenge everybody once you start reading the first part this is a challenge i will buy it back if you don't like it <laughs> or if you could leave it in between right so if you if you wish to read and if you can't read if you think you cannot read start reading it is try the hidden hindu and i will not disappoint you you will finish it and that's a challenge well you heard it buy the book right now and of course you can win some right now tell me the name of the 10 dashatras dashavtars dashavtars tell me the name of the 10 dashavtras and you can win yourself the uh, trilogy on the show 10 avtars of vishnu perfect thank you so much once again have a nice day to you too sir uh any message to your son that you would like to give out this morning i can i can speak for him for at least an hour mm-hmm. and i quote at least but i know this restriction of time so you know the shortest that i can speak is his name is aradhya he, li- he lives in indore he's in class 10th right now i was uh, recently told that he loves playing guitar uh, aradhya i'm waiting for you i miss you and it's been really long that i've been very patiently waiting for you and you just need to know the other side of the story as well you know a, a good judge is who listens to both the sides and not one uh just come back to me for once then you can choose whether you want to stay or not i'm missing you i've been missing you every day i shatter every night and i collect myself every morning uh and i work so hard and i am making a name for you so that i can reach you help me reach you waiting that brought it to my thank you so much for that